guys, welcome back. So our camera died and we had to improvise, but we're back. Uh, in our last video, we were speaking about what we learned being married for one year, and I think we left off on my husband speaking about acting single was being married and yeah. he was speaking about his transition and what he went through in our first few months of marriage and then take it away yes so uh i remember speaking about um uh, transitioning from single to marriage right and uh it was a big problem for me uh, just to reinforce that tra the transition period was very difficult and it can put a strain on your marriage if you yourself don't realize or your spouse don't bring it to your attention and like I stated my wife brought it to me and then we spoke about it and then we grew from there I would encourage everyone looking at this video who is married or recently got married to to look into and be introspective and realize whether you behave in single yes. while married yes. you know uh, it's it was a growing pain and it is and will continue to be a growing pain once you once it's not dealt with but once it's dealt with, then you guys could just transition moving forward. Yeah, so that was one of the things that we went through. The second thing we want to talk about in this second part of the video is being able to celebrate each other. Yes. And I love that one. And this is something that was proven to me from our courting days by my then fiancé, my now husband. He, This guy celebrated me to the T. And I, it was something that I have never felt before. And it's not till that we got together, the way that he elevated me, the way that he celebrated me, the way that he exa exaggerated on my good qualities. And when I do something that he, to his satisfaction, and he would just celebrate just the simple things. And I think it's vital in a relationship, in a marriage especially, to celebrate your spouse, celebrate each other, let them know who they are, let them know how special they are to you. Yes. And celebrating can mean so many different things. So many small things. Yeah, and well. just so many small things, exaggerating their strengths, exaggerating um, just the good that they do for you, you know, and just making them feel like, hey, you that special person for me, and I'll just continue to celebrate you, you might... Everything. princess like you would say yes. and for me it was one of the things that it's one of the things that actually keeps me going i would encourage you guys to just celebrate each other love each other and you know just ensure that you you make a considered effort to put a smile on your spouse's face yeah that that's a good right? point just sit on that for a while <laughs> what have you done in the last week to put a smile on your spouse's face you know so when you do that it encourages your spouse then to do the same to put a smile on your face yeah you know, so it's the simplest of things, you know, and another thing is speaking life into your spouse. Yeah. And um, we, we ensure we, we try to do so, you know, um, whether it be on her down moments, I try to speak life to her and show the positives in her life, show the positives in her characteristics, show the positives uh, in the purpose of God over her life, show her those positives to remind her of the great individual that she is and the purpose that is laid upon her. So you are, whatever she's going for at that point in time, when I speak life, then she's reminded and then turns around her perspective and attack whatever she's going through with a newer perspective, right? So that speaking life is very essential, uh, a part of our marriage. Yes, and to add to his point, um, as a wife, you is everything. You is the, the closest thing to him. You is help meet and knowing how to just cover your spouse and speak life into him and just help that person get better. Like, you know, there's something that we say better together. I truly believe that we were brought together to help each other get better. So just hold your husband's hand, speak life into him, declare life over him, declare prosperity over him. Just so many things that you could, a declaration, speak like there was so much like good you can speak over his life sometimes when he's down and weary i'm like babe don't worry you're the one here who has to elevate him and speak those things into his life that's right, that's right. you know and another thing that we, we have adopted from the beginning is laugh 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 yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know it's something that, that you know we just enjoy each other's presence yeah and the, the, uh, there's a quote that says laughter is medicine for the soul it is truly medicine for your marriage yeah. You know, so it will draw you guys closer together. It will bond you guys. The soul connection draws closer and closer every time that you guys could share a very good moment together, and you guys could just laugh it off just together. Laugh. You know, and sometimes just be silly and laugh. Yeah, we just do things. Just be silly with it. With it, just be silly with each other, 
and just try to make the other person laugh, you know? I'll do something and she'll be like, oh my god, you just did that. You know what I mean? And it's just the simple things. Just the simple things. And it's when you guys are comfortable with each other and you guys could go the extra mile and just making your spouse laugh. Laugh, yeah. And I don't know, that's the main thing for me. I love laughing. I'm silly like that. I laugh at everything. I laugh. I basically laugh at anything. Even when sometimes we're having a serious conversation and I feel for the outbreak of laughter i'd be laughing and he'd be looking at me like why are you laughing it's a serious moment but like it's bad but i just love laughing and i love like i love having a good time a good laugh i like i can't exaggerate more on how much i just love having a good laugh and like he stated those are the things that bond you together you spend time spending time does not always have to mean like you know you're cuddling or whatever just spend time laughing or look at look at some video or something and just spend time laughing with your spouse it could be the dumbest thing like just him dancing in the mirror just think of your spouse dancing in the mirror and you just like you know something like the world does not see i just remembered something <laughs> Something the world does not see and you just laugh just have a good moment laughing forget about the small stuff don't sweat the small stuff forget about whatever is going on in your lives right now and just laugh 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 i can't stress more just laugh okay <laughs> yeah and for marriage like we always like in our conversations we always said that marriage is putting in work for your satisfaction yep. you know so as much as it looks good you have to put in work like as like anything else in life you have to put in work for anything right. and it's just like it's just the same thing as your marriage and when i say put in work i'm not saying like heavy labor carrying the whole cross on your back it's, just, right. it's, it's just the simple things that you put in work for just to ensure the like a smooth running on your marriage like um just be vigilant of whatever it is that could creep in yeah. and um cause just cause division un- yeah you know you know I'm- like she stated, you know, like laughing together is putting in work in your marriage. Yeah, just simple things like you that. Know, speaking life is putting in work in your marriage. And it just brings me you back, know? sorry. So, it just brings me back to, um, it's as hard as you make it. If you make it hard, it's going to be hard. If you put your mind that it's going to be a breeze, when I say a breeze, I mean not as hard, it's going to be a breeze. You know, so just put in work for your satisfaction and it's a joint effort. You and your spouse, you come together, like Kevin and I came together, like, babe, we were going to do this and this and this. And that's exactly what we did. We put in small work for our satisfaction. And over time, like, it just gets more um, seamless and more yeah. effortless because it's something that you've been doing continuously. So it's not anything that is so forced and right. that takes so much energy from you. No, it's just everyday work just and to ensure another that thing, you know, just, your marriage stays happy. Just plan different outings with each other. Go different places. You know, enjoy different um, sceneries with your spouse. And that will ensure that you guys continue to draw together and it is indirectly working on your marriage. Yeah, because that brings us back to doing what your spouse loves. And we're very adventurous, so like going out and just, just some, the simple things count. Things that really matter. So it's just something like just a walk in the path. Yes. And one of the main points for us right now is we have so many main points, but anyways, moving yeah. on. Um, one of, because, anyways, never mind. Is being satisfied in whatever season that you enduring right now with your spouse. As a couple, as a unit, you are going to go through things. I mean, we planned out our first year to be in such a way. And let me tell you, the way that we planned out out now, or not how it went, or not, not how it's still going. And it's something that could make us sad. It's something that could make us weary. It's something that could make us depressed. But we chose to be grateful for whatever season that we go through together as we believe that in that season, we both grow with each other and we both grow as individuals ready to serve each other. There's always something to learn in a season. There's always something to grasp. And there's always something that you could pick up that could elevate you and that you could uh, take to your spouse. You know, and she said it best. Just celebrate each other and celebrate the season that you guys are in. We did not plan for where we are today. However, we are where we are. That doesn't mean that we should sulk and be sad. You know, it's all about perspective. Yeah. And once you realize and adjust your your perspective to the season that you're in, no matter the season, you'll be happy. You'll be content. You'll be content with each other. And most importantly, you'll be content with knowing that God is instructing and directing every path that we are walking on together. On to the next point, guys. And one of the, it's a very important point. Please take your pen and your pad for this one. 
sex gets better with time. Let that sink in. Some people say sex is like, or sex in marriage is like wine because it gets better with time, you know, and because the more and more you grow with each other, you learn each other and you learn different things that your spouse likes and your spouse dislikes. You learn different things and vice versa because you learn yourself as well. Mm -hmm. So when you learn yourself, you know what you like and you, then you, you can then communicate it to your spouse and then you guys could grow in sex. <laughs> right? So, like I said, this gets better with time. You know, and it's not just sex, it's love making, it's intimacy, it's drawing closer to your spouse in a deep, deep love connection. It's not just about reaching a climax, it's about reaching a point where you, your souls can intertwine, your souls can connect in a deep intimacy with each other. That's the only thing that could the only thing that could come between you two is God and He's not between you two, He's for you two. Mm. <laughs> Mm. That's worship right there. No, I was, about, I was about to end and say, just want to say, sex is worship. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it is, you know. And sex is a, it's a form of worship between, in marriage, with your spouse, to God. Yeah. Right? So, I would say to uh, spouses out there, keep worshiping. <laughs> yeah, and just two, two points that we've already mentioned that we want to reiterate is one, Pray, pray, pray. Pray together, cover your spouse, pray alone. Pray downtime, together. have you know, pray we alone. have our quiet time, our downtime together and separately. That's important. Next one is communication. It is very important the way that you know you could bring something in the tone that you bring it across to your spouse. Sometimes what you're saying is not wrong, but how you bring it across to them is wrong, especially for me as a woman. I like I always tell him, I don't like he's a man. He has a deep voice. I don't really like when the voice gets deeper and he brings something across to me. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know? So it's just that kind of thing. Communication and prayer. Two points that we want to reiterate um, from what we've spoken about. I just want to say it again. Pray together. Pray, pray alone. Pray together. But it's very, very important. And we pray together every day. You know, it's a vital part of our marriage. And I would encourage anybody else to do it. Um, it draws you closer as a unit, and it draws you closer to God as well. You know, so pray, pray, pray. I wish we could have something going across Laugh the screen right now. Laugh and pray, <laughs> pray, pray. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, guys. So those are just a few things that we put together that we've learned um, being married for one year. I mean, there was so much more that we could talk about. There was so much more that we could write down. But we just chose, like, we just kept cutting out, like, two... Um, points, but we wanted to give you guys a good dose of what we've learned from our sp from our perspective for being married for one year, and um, we have no complaints. People always ask me, "Oh, so you married? How's that?" You know, in like a like condescending some, tone, like the and <laughs> then I'm like, "It's great. You know, it's beautiful. I love being married, and I have not been um, in any regret being married to this guy." You know, so. That's what we've learned, and I'm looking forward to our second year. I'm looking forward to many years beyond this, beyond this year, and growing together and looking back maybe on this video and seeing, like, you know, how far we've came from year one to year 25. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, let me know if there's anything that stood out to you in this video. Let me know if there's anything that you've learned. And also let me know if there's anything that you want us to address in an upcoming video. So, you want and we just want to conclude with um, what we are looking forward to um, growing with each other and doing life with each other, um, being a young married couple. So the first one for me is fleshing out our purpose in marriage and fleshing out our purpose individually and together. And um, That's very important. You know that fleshing out your purpose together and individually while serving God. And that is something we look, we, we're in the process of. And it won't come to completion until our purpose is done on this earth, you know. And another thing, I just, I just want to just continue learning and serving my spouse. You know, I just want to continue learning her because we are growing as individuals in the marriage as well. So we are evolving and we'll be continuing to learn each other and ourselves. So yeah. I just want to learn her and serve her. That, that's 
another important thing as well that we continue to look forward to. The next thing for us is um, the next thing for us is growing together in our careers and in ministry. Yeah. Um, so marriage is ministry. So ministry is doing life together daily, growing with each other daily. But you know, you never know. I know Kevin has like you know certain ministry call on his life, and so and career paths that we will take. We just want to inv- if we just want to evolve and grow um, individually and together in ministry and in our careers. And likewise, she has certain ministry calls in her life that we are both walking, in, w- starting to walk into right now, and hopefully we can start running. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's just and ministry is basically serving people, and that's what we want to do: serve each other and serve people for his glory that's correct for mm-hmm. his glory and the thing is of course one day we want to have kids <laughs> that's what's up we want to the- have little plumbers running all over yeah. maybe for him that's gonna be like five you know, it, years you never know what god says if all up to him because he's gonna have kids like five years from now all up to me i can have kids right now three <laughs> you know what i mean but we, it's something that we're definitely looking forward to uh, we're looking forward to impart our knowledge our love our passion you know into a young one so we could just live a legacy on this earth yeah it's just developing a family and yeah. family of love and laughter <laughs> and of course you know as a couple we have dreams of like you know getting our first home we want to talk about you know those things like that another thing too is one of um, the, one of the main things and we, i think we've already mentioned it is yeah, we together have. in christ it's important. It's, and we've, I think we've mentioned paramount. This. We've mentioned this so many times in this video. Yeah. It's growing together in Christ because he's our foundation in this marriage. Yep. He's our everything. pillar. He's our cement. He's He puts everything together. He's bonded us. Without him, we wouldn't be where we are today. And I'm so grateful for um, his goodness on, over our lives right now. And, and lastly, of course... Choosing to stay in love. in love. You know, it's a choice. Like we say, you have to work on it. I love you. <laughs> and you just have to choose to stay in love. So that's it, guys. Yeah. And we re- And um, if you realize you said choosing to stay in love, because love is a choice. You have to choose if you want to be in love or if you want to be out of love. So it's, it's going to be our continuous decision to choose to stay in love. Yeah. So that's it, guys. <laughs> so that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, you could leave any comments below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's anything that you want us to address in an upcoming video. Let us know if there's anything that you've learned. If there, if there is anything that that stood out to you in this video. And.